Blessed be our God forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, we pray you graciously to behold this your family, for whom our Lord Jesus Christ was willing to be betrayed and given into the hands of sinners and to suffer death upon the cross, who now lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. He shall be exalted and lifted up, and shall be very high. Just as there were many who were astonished at him, so marred was his appearance beyond human semblance, and his form beyond that of mortals. So he shall startle many nations. Kings shall shut their mouths because of him. For that which had not been seen told to them they shall see. And that which they had not heard, they shall contemplate. Who has believed what we have heard? And whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For he grew up before him like a young plant, and like a root out of dry ground. He had no form or majesty that we should look at him, nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by men, a man of suffering and acquainted with infirmity. And as one from whom others hide their faces, he was despised, and we held him of no account. Surely, surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, and yet we accounted him stricken, struck down by God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the punishment that made us whole, and by his bruises we were healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned to our own way, and the Lord has laid upon him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed, and he was afflicted, but he did not open his mouth. Like a lamb that is led to slaughter, and like a sheep that before its shearers is silent, so he did not open his mouth. By a perversion of justice he was taken away. 
Who could have imagined his future? He was cut off from the land of the living, strucken for the transgression of my people. They made his grave with the wicked and his tomb with the rich, although he had done no violence and there was no deceit in his mouth. Yet it was the will of the Lord to crush him with pain. When you make his life an offering for sin, he shall see his offspring and shall prolong his days. Through him the will of the Lord shall prosper. Out of his anguish he shall see light. He shall find satisfaction through his knowledge. The righteous one, my servant, will make many righteous, and he will bear their iniquities. Therefore, I will allot him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he poured himself out to death and was numbered with the transgressors. And yet he bore the sin of many and made transgression, made intercession for the transgressors. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God.
Son of the living God, we pray you to set your passion, cross, and death between your judgment and our souls, now and in the hour of our death. Give mercy and grace to the living, pardon and rest to the dead, to your holy church, peace and concord, and to us sinners, everlasting life and glory. For with the Father and the Holy Spirit, you live and reign, one God, now and forever. Amen. <laughs>